Hi everyone, and welcome back to Bob's Wood Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how I made these leaning planters out of a redwood 2x6 and three redwood fence boards. The design is very sturdy and has a nice modern look to it, and it's great for growing herbs in. You can find a link to plans for this project in the description. I cut off two inches on the end of a fence board to get rid of the damaged part and then cut it to length for the sides and bottom of the box. Now I needed to cut some angled pieces for the short sides of the boxes. I cut one piece and then used that to trace the next piece. Then I ripped the remaining fence boards to 3 quarter inches wide to use as support cleats. I drilled holes in the cleats with a countersinking bit, and then attached each cleat to a long side with two screws, and then used some 2 inch screws to assemble the box. The bottom needs drainage, so I drilled several 3 quarter inch holes into it. Then I held it in place with some screws drilled into the cleats. Now I need to make the legs. I set my miter gauge to 60 degrees and cut the tops and bottoms of the legs. To make the dados for the legs, I set my protractor to 60 degrees and drew a line for the bottom of each box. Then I placed the boxes against that line and traced the other side of them. This will ensure a perfect fit on the dado joint. I labeled which planter box was the top one. I set my marking gauge to match the thickness of the box walls. I set my blade height to the marking on the leg and cut one shoulder of the joint using my miter gauge. My miter gauge is not very accurate, so I made sure to stay on the waist side of my line. I did repeat cuts on the waist area. I made a knife wall on my line to establish a shoulder. And sawed down that shoulder by hand.
For the other dados, I used a dado stack. This is a lot faster, but I wanted to show both methods. Once all the joints fit, I placed both boxes into one leg and screwed them in. Then I attached the other leg. I cut off the corners to make a flat surface that will lean against the wall. Now all I need to do is add some soil to the planter and I can plant my herbs. Make sure to check the description for a link to the plans so you can build it yourself. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to garden that like button and subscribe. Bye.